Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world. Welcome to BWTM Sports Live. This is live coverage or live commentary coverage of the big fight between Josh Warrington and Kiko Martinez. So coming into this fight, I, you know, my personal opinion coming into this fight tonight, it's going to be interesting to see how Warrington goes about the fight tonight. Um, big fight for Josh Warrington, of course. He, um, his first time he's fighting in this class. Uh, he's fought at lower level before. He's been British Commonwealth and European champion, but never fought at the level of a Kiko Martinez, which he fights later on tonight. So, you know, we're looking forward to see how um, he steps up tonight. But before then, we have a, a fight on the undercard, which is uh, involves Jazz Dickens. Uh, uh, it's Jazz Dickens versus uh, Martin Ward. So I think this is for the British Championship. So thought we'd do this fight first. So we've got Martin Ward. Been announced now. He's raising his hands. And he's ready. He's in black t-shirt, black and white t-shirt with blue trunks. Significantly on the front of his shorts, he's got Tommy written. I think maybe that's maybe to do with maybe either his brother or a member of family, maybe even his son. So he goes to the ring. He's jogging to the ring. Up through the ropes, there's walls on the back and into the ring. Here he is. Martin Ward, he's, I think this is his first uh, title fight. Now, Jazz Dickens, interesting story about him. He fought one of the great pound-for-pound -pound fighters, which is uh, Rigan Dow, when Rigan Dow came to the UK. And Rigan Dow showed just why he was, who he is, still a phenomenal fighter, stopping the fight, stopping chickens in two rounds. I don't expect Ward to do that tonight. But here comes Jazz Dickens now. He's uh, got a waistcoat on, just like a, maybe a, a, a plastic waistcoat. And he's coming to the ring. And again, he as well is, he's walking to the ring, very purposeful to the ring. At least he knows tonight he's not facing Rigandau. He too has got uh, blue trunks on, but blue and red trunks. So in he comes, the champion. In the ring he comes. I mean, if you, after you face Rigandau, I really don't think looking at uh, Martin Ward, no disrespect to Martin Ward, but I don't think Martin Ward's going to put the fear of God in you after you face someone like Rick So I guess this has given Dickens uh, a great boost for his own career coming into this fight. So he walked her in quite purposefully. He's ready to get down to business. I'm sure he's got a tough fight ahead of him tonight. Martin Ward himself is unbeaten from what I believe we'll look at the records at the moment. But uh, the champion Jazz has got on the front of his trunks there, and the British Championship being held aloft there by uh, one of the teammates, or Jazz Dickens. Both guys look ready to go, though. So uh, we'll just wait for them to announce. Uh, this is a decent crowd tonight there in Leeds. See the star man. Nicola Adams came off a good little win earlier. Watch Salazar's 19 years old. If I understand from Nicola Adams, the fight Nicola Adams just was in, the girl's two weights uh, lower than herself. So, um, interesting. Very interesting. Michael Alexander's the referee of this bout. So, congratulations to Nicola Adams getting her first stoppage win. So, it's for the British Super Bantamweight Champion. Is Dickens. Dickens. The uh, record is 22, 20-0 for, for Ward. Uh, the reach, is not a difference in the reach between the two guys. Dickens is 67-inch Ward, 6-inch six, reach. The weights round out the same. Ward unbeaten with 20 fights. Dickens 22 fights. I don't know if that's second, seven losses he's got there. Or seven KOs, 22 fights, seven KOs. And two draws where they've got it up there. So Ward's not a big puncher himself. 
This looks like it's going to be one of them 12 rounders. Dickens is pacing back and forth, back and forth, looking at Ward, pacing back and forth. Let's see how this one goes down. I thought he was fighting Patrick Thomas Ward, not his brother. Yes, yeah, Patrick Thomas Ward. Let me get that right. Correction. Thank you so much for that. Uh, Sam Egerton is also fighting tonight for the European title, I believe. So that'd be interesting. Is it Sam Egerton fighting for the European title tonight? Some please correct me. Keep me updated with that. OK, so it's Jazz Dickens versus Thomas Patrick Ward. Yes, that's the brother. The first, um, first direct arena in Leeds. Eggy Fastink doing okay so far, says probably. Round one. Okay, significantly. Dickens looks south, poor. Ward Orthodox. Nice commentary team. John Rawlings there tonight. Love John Rawlings. Good straight right there from uh, Ward. Straight through the guard of Dickens. Looping shot there from Dickens. Those guys look down to work straight away. Ward behind a high held guard. Dickens trying to find a space for that straight left hand. Ward looking for space for that straight right hand. Missing there. Dickens with the right counter there with, with Ward there. So, okay, both guys have set themselves straight away. Um, Dickens is going to be using his straight left hand out of the southpaw stance to land. And for Ward, he'll be looking for his straight right hand. Also, nice little right hand, right hand there from Ward. Dickens stumbled into it. Dickens to me is champion. He's the champion. He seems to really want to get, get on with business. Maybe he's a bit too um, hyped up. He needs to settle down a bit. Left, straight left there from Ward, from uh, Dickens. Ward misses and Dickens tries to capitalise, but good foot, foot Ward gets him out of the way. Of overbalancing there. Oh, right hand there from Ward. Both guys seem quite easy to hit, actually. Despite them having their hands up, both guys are landing straight down the pipe. With the straight left from Dickens and the straight right from Ward. Pretty even round so far. You just give it edge to Ward. Now a straight right hand from Ward there. I'd like to see Ward, when he throws the right hand, Drop a left to wind it after. It's nice body shot there from Dickens. Straight left to the body. Oh, and Ward goes over. I think he's just pushed over there. Michael Alexander, referee. Dust him down and on we go. Don't leave me. He looks like a mouse over the right eye of Jazz Dickens. I could be wrong there. Is this early in the fight already? Oh, and Dickens bounces into Ward at the end of round one. Uh, Extreme Campbell says, "Don't forget, Jazza has already beat Martin Ward by split decision. So this is this is little brother trying to get revenge for family." LOL. Ah, so there's a bit of family needle there. Okay, it's interesting. Didn't know that. I do know now. Yours is a split decision. Okay. So Jazz is trying to do both the wards, eh? Interesting. Jazz might have a bit of a problem there because there's quite a few wards. I'm here in Ireland. There's loads of wards in Ireland. So uh, he'll have a whole army of wards to get through. Okay, this is round two. 
and they two box. And all bouncing, 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 bouncing. Out of the two boxers, Dickens looks to see a lot more composed now at the two fighters. Seems to be quite sure about what he's doing. Digs another straight left hand to the body. Ward's still a bit herky-jerky, uh, bouncing around a lot. Not quite settled yet. Dickens looks like he's settled in round two and he's got a game plan for what he's going to do. There we go. Ward over... Balance is there. Jazza again to the body. But Jazza's got a plan. Good right hand there from Ward. Jazza seems to have a Jazza Dickens seems to have a plan to dig to the body. Nice one two there from Ward. Answering uh, Jazza Dickens back. Dickens seems to now want to land straight left hands to the body of Ward, which is making him very uncomfortable, it seems to me, when he lands the straight left hand to the body. Dickens walking Jazza, uh, walking Ward back. Ward tries to tie him up and kind of his feet sort of leave the air for a couple of seconds when doing so. Nice one two combination from Ward there and spins out. On Jazz Dickinson. Dickinson digs another left hand to the body. These left hands to the body are, are probably not being seen, noticed. But every time Ward comes in, he's digging the left hand to the body. He's making sure to dig the left hand into the body of Ward. Whereas we not, not see that in the, the cup, first couple of rounds, say rounds from round six onwards, as a British title fight, they'll take the legs away from Ward, slow him down. Nice combination there from Ward there. Dickens smiles. Bit of flashy work there from Ward. There's not much power in those shots, just flashy. One, two, two, one, two, three, and gone. Again, Dickens takes the center of the ring. Ward's still bouncing up and down, bouncing up and down. Lots of bouncing in and out. Dickens trying to set his feet for power to dig the left, straight left hand through the middle. See, Ward is still bouncing. Is he gonna bounce like this in round eight, nine, 10, 11, 12? Bouncing again. End of the round. Uh, for she activity work, you're gonna give that one to Ward, I would say. So I give that round to Ward. Just out, more punches landed. So I'll give Ward that round. So uh, fight. I'm watching this fight live on BT Sports Fight Night. Just remember when Rigandale broke his jaw in the dark days of box station, what a horrible fight that was. Well, it was a great opportunity for people to see Rigandale. Okay, this is round three. It's Jazz Dickens was the guy that decided to step up and take that fight. Poor guy. This is round three now. Again, Ward bounces up and down on his toes, up and down, up and down. Look at somewhat amateurish style the way he's bouncing around Ward. There's that straight left hand again from Dickens. And then Ward falls to the canvas. I don't looks like he's pushed to the canvas, but that straight left hand again. There are moments Ward looks completely disorganized. I think the way to describe Ward's style is a little fairly amateurish, the way he bounces back and forth like that. A lot of bouncing the hands by the sides. Yeah, Ward seems more of the got more of an amateurish style there. Straight left, straight right hand. Good right hand there from Ward, though, as I said that. Straight down the pipe, right hand. Hit Dickens flush. Dickens just smiles at him.
That's that straight left hand again in Ward to, to, uh, from Dickens to Ward. You tie up again. It seems every time they come close as well, Ward again looks disorganised. Ward bouncing back and forth like literally like an amateur. No, not that his style, just got a very amateur type style. Even the way he moved, comes forward sometimes is pretty crude. So I can see where Dickens is trying to counter him as he comes forward again. As he comes forward and overcompensates, Dickens spins, Dickens spins Ward. Yes. Good evening, uh, Jordan Anderson. Yes, he is bouncing around like Crawler. Bouncing very much like Crawler, but I think Crawler's got a little bit more of a professional style. Ward, when he goes forward, seems to leave himself off balance. Nice combination there from Dickens. I suspect as soon as this bouncing stops from Ward, I think Dickens is going to time Ward even more so. He's just got to be careful at the moment, Dickens, still. Once the bouncing stops, then I think he'll nail him cleaner. Because the bouncing, the herky jerky bouncing can be a bit off putting. But Dickens hasn't quite found his, his, his range with this guy. Good combination there from Ward. Dickens stopped for a moment, just looked at Ward. And the Warden said, All right, fine, I'll hit you with a combination, which he did. Three punch combination. Again, it's another round where Ward, although he's looked very amateurish, he's put better combinations together on Dickens. And I'm going to give Ward the round. When they bounce around so much, aren't they guessing themselves out quicker? Oh, yes, that's a very valid point there, um, Adam Scott. Rob Lee says, Crawler lives down the road from me. Well, say hello to him when you see him. Moston. Okay, sell out him when you see if you see him. Um, yeah, I don't understand why they bounce around like that. I it's the bat. I don't understand the bouncing around when you're out of range. I understand. I don't understand when you're out of range, completely out of range, and you're bouncing. I don't understand that. I understand when you're in range and you try to slip back or slip to the sides. But I've never understood the bouncing around, just bouncing around for the sake of bouncing around. I don't get. I've never understood it. For me, I want to see Jazza Dickens digging more shots to the body uh, and trying to slow Ward down for a second half fight. I'm going to take Ward two up now. And just hope that uh, Dickens can kind of slow Ward down second half. Dickens throws a very silly kind of like overhand left that doesn't, I don't know why he throws it. It's like he, he doesn't want to throw the left and leaves himself out there. And of course, Ward counted him for that. Jazza Dickens, for me, he's got to take, as champion, he needs to take control of this fight. But Damone, he's, he's uh, allowing Ward to, as they say in American trade, shoe shine, which means, oh, Ward's gone down again from a push from Jazza Dickens. I'd like to see Jazza, oh, good right hand there from Ward. I'd like to see Jazza Dickens, Dickens actually try to take control of this fight as champion. That said, he's letting Ward throw his little flurry combination, which is shoe shine, and then getting away. And although Jazza looks like a man who means business, it's actually Ward who's actually doing the business. So, nice combination there from Ward. And a good combination back there from down the pipe from Dickens. Yes. So, we're live commentating at the moment here. Left hook, nice left hook, sort of left hook there from Jazz Dickens. In terms of activity, I would say again, Ward, good straight right hand there from Ward. Dickens, again, anytime Ward hits him, once he hit, when that right hand is there to be hit. Good left, right hand, a nice cuffing left hook on the top, or, or straight right on the top there of their head of Ward. He takes it. 
again, I said every time Ward goes to go, moves, tries to move forward, he's being counter punched. So interesting, interesting. Jazza Dickens again blocks Ward's attack. Oh, nice combination there. Jazza Dickens looked to look the left uppercut or right uppercut inside. The Ward ties him up. Ward's still bouncing. Dickens closing the range in this round. I don't know how to score that round, to be honest. I'm not sure. <coughs> I would say that I would give the round. I would give the round to um, Ward. This is live commentary at the moment. So, okay, it's bruising of the left eye of Dickens. Let's got this again, a combination. Okay, let's show replay again. That's the shot where Ward was diving in and Dickens caught him over the top, a good left. I'm going to call that an even round. This is round five. Ward is still bouncing, bouncing, bouncing. Dickens has got his hand down by his side. Not quite sure what he's trying to do there, but maybe trying to let, trying to bring Ward in. But I wouldn't do that if I was Dickens, because every time he's allowed Ward to get in, Ward's shoe shined him. Ward just seems to have the faster hands here. Yeah, I, I'm going to say Wolf's got the faster hands here and actually the better movement around the ring for what it's worth. It's just that at times Ward, where he overreaches and leaves himself open to get countered. Nice straight left hand there from Dickens. And there's a combination there from Ward. Every time Dickens has a little bit of success, Ward is there and, and, and counters. Nice body shot there from Dickens. We might see him go back to doing that. Forget the head hunting, go back to the body, Dickens. Ward's doing okay, actually. Good combination. Good straight left hand there from Dickens. Hard left hand. It seems, I don't know if Dickens is waiting for Ward to tire. Or to slow down. Better round for Dickens this round so far. Again, he's wild. Dickens again. Nice try combination there. A little bit more urgency in Dickens' work this round. Ward seems a little more scrappy. Good straight right hand there from Ward, though. Again, he seems the better, the better um, combination puncher. Nice left hand. Nice left hand again. Two boxing taking center stage there. Straight left hand there from Dickens. Jab from Dickens. It's a big mouse of a Dickens eye now, it looks like. Bruising. Dickens looking for opening, looking for an opening, looking for an opening. I'm sure Ward's going to hit him again. Body shot from... Dickens end of the round. To me, 
Dickens now cut over the left eye or the right eye. Let's say that bruising is a cut now. Now, to me, it depends how you look at this fight, but from the way I'm looking at it is the Ward actually good right hand there from Ward. He gets, he gets nice straight right hand. For me, Ward is actually doing is at boxing. Dickens, he's landed a better he's landed a more com better combination punching. So I've got Ward another round up. What have they got it here? They've got Ward 10, 10, 9, 10, 10. That's about right. So four rounds, four rounds out of five, Ward is one. So yeah. Scored about right. Um, again, we are now into round six and Jazza Dickens flies out the corner and digs two body shots into Ward. Jazza Dickens as British champion has got to do something different because what he's doing at the moment doesn't work. Straight right hand there from Ward. Ward's got a real good chance here to win the British title tonight, I'm telling you. Wait, look here, if Dickens keeps fighting the way that he's fighting here, Ward's going to walk away with a points win, a, a unanimous points win as well. He's just going to hope Ward can do the 12 rounds. Ward now got his hands cuffed around his um, temple. Good straight left hand there from Dickens. He actually stood there, really amateurish, just stood there with his hands cuffed by his sides like he was getting ear warmers. And uh, earmuffs, and he got caught with a straight left hand. He just stood there and allowed Dickens to hit him there. Why? I've got no idea why he did it. Very amateurish indeed. And he's got his arms up, and all his sides of his body are open. Oh, it's a good combination there from Dickens. I'm not quite sure what Ward is doing this round, but he's allowing Dickens back into it. And he's just bouncing right in front of him. And he's standing in the pocket more this round, Ward. I don't know if he's tiring here. Or Dickens' natural strength is, is, is starting to show. Ward, good combination there. Now, the second half of this fight could be very interesting. One, good, good combination there from Ward. Good response. The little headbutt there. Ward acknowledges it. Michael Alexander acknowledges it as well. Break, referee breaks up. And box that back leg box again. Body shot. Dickens coming a little stronger this round. Ward has allowed him for this round to come forward. I don't know if Ward is tiring. When they're looking at his feet, less the bouncing is happening. There's less bouncing from Ward, and that's allowing Dickens a, a door a, a doorway back into this fight. And I did say if Dickens was able to stop Ward from bouncing, then he'd be able to get closer to Ward. So Ward is not bouncing as much, which allows Dickens to get closer. This is a closer round. It's a better round for Dickens. I don't know if Ward's beginning to tire, but he's standing in the pocket more now. End of the round. I'm going to give that round to Dickens. I thought Ward showed he was tiring in the round for me. Um, did some very strange things in that round. Stood in front of Dickens and his ha hands up by his sides like earmuffs. We're seeing pictures here of Kiko Martinez being warmed up or being massaged by his trainer here. This is going to be an interesting fight. Josh Warrington punches the camera. It's the toughest fight to date, Josh Warrington. I'm interested in this fight to see just how good Josh Warrington is. I've been very critical of Josh Warrington. I mean, he's British Commonwealth European champion. That round, actually, they gave it to Ward. I thought Dickens won the round. <coughs> <coughs> so, it's how you like to see it, really. I thought Dickens won the round. Ward looked more dis or disorganised the round. But, OK, BTC differently. Richie Woodhall and John Rawling. This is round seven. 
as we close down to the big one, Dickens versus Ward, the undercard to the main event. I thought Dickens looked better in the last round. Ward's gone back to bouncing again, bouncing, bouncing. But he's bouncing in front of Dickens. The bounce is not as much used to it as it was, and that's that's evident. And obviously, you know, he's seven rounds now. He's not bouncing the same way. Nice combination. Dickens is landing more harder shots in this round. And now Ward backs up. And another straight left hand from Dickens. Like I said, as this fight goes into later rounds, Dickens should be able to land more heavier punches on uh, on Ward. And I'd be interested to see what his physical strength for Ward is like down the stretch. Again, Dickens behind a high guard trying to hunt down Ward. Just getting news now from Eggington versus what's happened? What just happened? Who just got knocked out? I'm getting you hear news there from a match from card. Who just got knocked out? Great finish. Was that Eggington or was that Rodriguez? Back to the fight now. Good straight right hand there from Ward. I tell you now, Dickens starting to land body shots. Good body shots there. This is turning into a little bit of a mini brawl here. <coughs> Dickens did some good body shots in that round, this round. Dickens coming close in this round. Now here comes Wolf fighting back. Nice combination. But Dickens, for me, looks better in this round. Good straight <coughs> right hand. <coughs> You're watching. You're listening to Jazz Dickens versus Thomas Ward on the BT card. The main event coming up. Martinez versus Warrington. Nice combination here. This is a good round, this is. The fight is slowing, as I said, would happen. And Ward looks like he's blown a bit more. I'm going to give that to Dickens that round. He engaged more, landed the, the sharper, harder punches. I'm giving that to Dickens. Now, is Ward beginning to feel the distance now? Is he beginning to feel it? His trainer's smiling. Eggs have got the knockout. Would you stream the fight? Somebody there, they're showing in the audience. I don't know quite who it is, but they're showing somebody in the audience. I don't know who it is, but it's somebody showing in the audience. <laughs> okay. Would I stream the fight? No. This is audio commentary. That's what it says, and that's what it is. Okay, round eight. I don't know why people ask me a silly question. BWT Sports, Josh Warrington versus Kiko Martinez, live audio commentary. Means non-visual. Gary Monkey, that's it. Was that his missus next to him? Not bad, Gary. Good taste. Right. Round eight, it's back to the fight. The ward goes out this round, this means business, but Jazz Dickens is pushing him back now. Dickens moving forward. Ward throws a combination, spins out. I say from round nine onwards, it's going to be interesting for Ward. <laughs> Go 
Oh, good straight left hand on the top there from Dickens. A shot that he hasn't landed for the whole fight. Now he's landed now. The looping left hand on the top. Nice one two there from Ward. Straight down the pipe. Any time that Ward's wanted to throw the one two, Dickens has been there to get hit. Made no adjustments. Now Dickens trying to rough Ward up on the inside. Tell you something, if the way this fight is going now, it looks like Dickens can pull this back late. Because I think if Dickens would just move, just step forward uh, on, on Ward and start whacking the body when he cuffs his hands up by his sides, he's open for body shots, Ward. Here comes Ward. Nice combination from Ward. Dickens now digging shots. Nice combination. Nice body shot again there from Dickens. There goes the body shot again. Ward backing up. This is what I expect from Dickens now. This is an opportunity for Dickens to really stamp his authority as champion. There he goes, body shot. Ward is starting to feel this pace for sure. Dickens pushing him back now. This is what I want to see. Dickens pushing him back and working the body because Ward leaves his hands up in the air. Like, round his, his uh, very bad habit around his uh, ears and leaves all his body exposed. So Dickens, if you can see that now, start working the body. Good combination again. This is the Dickens round so far for me. But back comes Ward of a combination. Dickens just tucks up. Now, oh, it's a good shot there from Dickens. And an uppercut. Ward takes that. End of the round. Ward is tiring. Ward is tiring. Like I said in this fight, I said rounds eight onwards, it's going to be interesting to see if Ward can still box the same way. Nice combination from Ward he's thrown, but now Dickens is catching him sh same shots and walking through them. If I were if I were Dickens' corner, I'd be telling him, "Listen, mate, you, this guy hasn't got the power to knock you out. Straight, move straight forward, straight forward, close the range down on this guy, give him no space to move, make him do all the running, and whack body shots in. Anytime you get a chance, whack, throw punches wherever you can throw them. Because I don't think." I don't think Ward can do the 12 rounds. I really don't. I think Dickens now is, you know, he's in the ascendancy. He's the guy now. In any time in a fight, there's always one round that can turn the whole thing around in terms of mentality. And I think in that round there, it was the champion actually found uh, a lot, find his confidence after Ward putting some good boxing on against him. So if I were him, I'd say, I'd say to Dickens, you know what? Or Dickens, I'd say to him, move forward. Tuck it, just tuck up tight, move forward, and whack body shots into Ward. There's lots of openings to the body. Throw. Ward back to bouncing again. Why? I don't know. But he's bouncing. Body shot there from Dickens. Ward holds him up. Yeah, she beat her up. She stopped her in the end. She was a pretty girl, that Salazar. Very pretty. 19 years old. No business being in the boxing ring. Well, it was her choice, really. Okay. Ward moving forward and getting counter with good shots and a good left hand there from Dickens. Stuff that Ward was doing earlier on and getting away with now he's been punished for it. Over overreaching and then using his feet to get in and out. Now he's tiring. It's a different situation. He gets punched and pushed to the floor. Part punch, punch. Oh, he's up. And Ward is cut. He's cut. It was a cuffing blow. It was like a cuffing blow and kind of pushed Ward down. But he's got, and he's cut. And he's badly cut. And they're going to need the doctor for this. Let me look at this. It's really bad cut. Really bad cut. I think they're going to stop this. I really do. Referee's going to stop this. Got to stop this. Oh, no. He's going to keep boxing. Oh, we've got a Rocky fight on here now. But that blood's almost in the guys. He's going to stop this. It was, it was, what's he doing? The referee has stopped the fight. Referee stopped the fight, I'm not sure. Let's look at it again. I say it's kind of calf punch, calf push. Here it comes. Slips, slips, bang. There's a hawk. And it turns him around the corner. Watch the shot again. Dickens comes. 
arm stretches, bang, there's a nut. It's all right shot, but pushes him. It's like a punch and a push. And I thought Ward was tired anyway. There he comes. Ward over stretching, overreaching, bang, caught. And straight forward. A knockdown. I mean, I don't know why he didn't call it a knockdown, because he hit him and he went down. So is that a stoppage win for Dickens? I'm not sure. But to me, it looked like Dickens was actually getting on top of the fight. It looked like Ward was actually tiring. And it looked like Dickens was actually getting his second wind. And he started to get into um, Ward, Dickens. Somebody kissing somebody lips by his brother, I don't know. What's going on here? It's a good fight, but I thought, uh, for me, Jazza Dickens was turning that fight around down the stretch. It looked to me that Jazza Dickens could have won, won this fight late on. Because he was turning the fight around. Main event coming up next. Martinez versus Warrington. Warrington step up in class. It's going to be interesting. So let me just hear what is going on here. It looked to me like, I don't know, it was a stoppage victory. I'm not sure though. It looked like a stoppage victory. Okay, let's see what's going to happen here. Let's see what the decision is. It's a technical decision. Well, it's gone after eight rounds. It's going to go to points, it looks. Going to the scorecards. Interesting. Well, Ward looked ahead to me. It's going to point. Ward. There you go. So Ward is now the champion. Well, that's that's no surprise in terms of what happened in the end, the cut, the knockdown and everything. Well, Ward still wins on a sort of technical decision because he got cut and got dropped and then he kind of won the fight because it went to the scorecard. But to me, Dickens looked like he was coming back into that fight. It looked to me that Ward was tiring and... Uh, I think some uh, luck definitely landed on uh, Ward's doorstep, definitely. And I think uh, Jazz Dickens has uh, had a bit of luck there, unlucky there. Yeah, the doctor kind of sort of, I don't know what happened. He, the referee sort of stopped the fight and then technical, they call it a technical uh, decision because of accidental clash your head or I don't know but basically what's happened now is that because of the injury the fights had to go to the scorecards and Ward was ahead on the scorecards but that's kind of sad because Dickens for me looked like he was coming up he was getting on top of the fight that was all getting a bit too hot for Ward so I don't know I don't, I don't know if I were Ward, I could walk away from that fight tonight. Even though I've got the British Championship, it's not it's not the great way to win the British Championship. He was boxing well, don't get me wrong. Ward was boxing well. But I can't sit down and tell you here that... Uh, I can't sit down and tell you that he... Uh, uh, what is it? Uh, for those people who can't read, it's BWTM Sports Live, Josh Warrington versus Kiko Martinez, live audio commentary. That means there's no picture. There's no video, it's audio commentary. So for those that are not informed, this is what it is. If you want to watch it on video, then subscribe to BT Sports or Box Nation. 
or if you want to find us live stream. Otherwise, for those people who are listening, good evening and welcome. And welcome to uh, our show tonight. So we're just waiting for Warrington versus Martinez, main event of the evening in Leeds. So um, I think the fight should be an automatic rematch. I thought Ward was boxing well. I thought Dickens was coming back into the fight second half. Congratulations to Thomas Patrick Ward. He's now uh, 21 and now with uh, his two KOs. Um, I don't know how far he can go with that boxing style. Um, but he showed some nice combination punching Ward. Um, that wasn't too, didn't like uh, the way he would always stretch at times. And he looked down the stretch, he looked like he was tiring. Just goes to show anything can happen in a boxing ring if you feel like gambling. Puts me off. Yeah. What are you talking about, Adam? Are you talking are you talking about the uh fight with uh Ward and Dickens? Are you looking at talking about the fight with uh what's his name? Sam Eginton and Rodriguez. So, you know, I'm sure Ward is happy that he's champion, but if I were Jazza Dickens, I'd be gutted and strategically it looked to me that jazz dickens was saying all right you're winning the first half of this fight okay what i'm going to do is second half of the fight i'm going to try and close you down let's and, and try and try and slow the fight down and get you Fair enough, fair play. He's saying, wait, well, he swore, he basically effing hell that, uh, you know, Ward's a good fighter and, you know, obviously the champion wants a rematch, the, the former champion wants a rematch. He definitely wants a rematch. So um, I thought, and he, he said exactly as I was saying, Dickens was talking about taking the fight into the second half of the fight because he was a more experienced fighter. He was coming on strong. And it looked to me that that point of that fight, Dickens was going to take control of the fight. But, but it's just sad that a cut can just ruin everything in a fight. So um, we just wait now for Warrington versus Martinez live. Coming up next. Mr. Warrington doing a bit of dancing. He may be doing some dancing tonight for real because Martinez, people saying Martinez is shot. Martinez is one of these guys who just turns up and causes upsets. He's one of these guys that causes upsets. Everyone betting on Liam Williams in, in play on fight and got headbutted and the corner stopped it before the ref. Yeah, it can happen. Just doing some advertisement here for UFC. So, hmm, I mean, just to cover some UFC fighting tonight was interesting. UFC two eleven tonight. So for me, I was. Uh, gutted for Jazz Dickens. I was gutted for him. So back to this Martinez uh, Warrington fight. Let's talk about this a second. Um, Josh, Mar Josh Warrington has done anything. British Commonwealth European champion. But he's not a puncher. Um, he hasn't fought with the levels of a Scott Quigg or Frampton, both guys who have got wins over Kiko Martinez. People say Martinez is shot. I haven't seen shot the Martinez fight recently. But the one thing Martinez can do, he can crack. He can punch a bit. So, um, and we know Warrington can't punch. So that makes for an interesting fight. If Martinez has got anything left, if he's anything near the Martinez that I remember of him, 
think Warrington could have a real tough fight tonight. But if Warren, if Martinez is on the slide, and he, he possibly is on the slide, then I remember when Scott Quick blasted Martinez out of there when people expected a tough fight. So, you know, I think Martinez probably learned from that fight. Martinez has been blown out before and he's come back. He's been blown out before in fights, so Martinez has come back and gone on to win a world title. I mean, you remember when I think Frampton beat him and then people thought he was finished and then he came back and he went to America and he went and blitzed that guy and won a world title again. And, of course, Frampton beat him for the world title in the rematch and the second time they fought for the world title. So, I mean, yes, Kiko is shot worn, but um, Kiko by far is the best fighter that Josh Warrington has fought in his career, bar none. Um, Kiko punches, um, takes a decent shot. He's a, he's a he's what I'd call a road warrior, and he's the sort of guy that can turn up and cause an upset. And listen, if, for me, if Kiko Martinez can cause an upset, Kiko Martinez does. If he beats Josh Warrington, he gets himself back in the, in the world picture. He gets himself a world title shot. Again, because Josh Warrington is right on the brink of a definitely a world title shot. You can see that clearly a fight between Josh Warrington and Lee Selby is going to happen. That that fight's going to happen. That, that fight will happen faster than Josh Warrington versus Carl Frampton. I don't see that fight happening. Uh, Josh Warrington versus Scott Quick, well, that'd be a good fight as well. Kind of like Manchester versus, Manchester versus Leeds, that'd be a good fight. You gonna show fight? Well, if you read the title, I don't know why I put in the description. BT, BWTM Sports, Josh Warrington versus Kika Martinez, live audio commentary. What part of audio do people not understand? The A, the U, the D, the I, the O. Audio commentary. Doesn't say Josh Warrington versus Kiko Martinez live. Please understand. Josh Warrington versus Kiko Martinez live audio commentary. Stop asking me to show the fight. Okay. Main event of the evening live on BT Sports. Live commentary. Fight night live. You know something? I I'm surprised you don't go on the radio and ask the radio when when people are on radio ask them to show the fight live. This is like radio commentary. This is what it would be like. There's some silly people in this world. BT Sports live. The Leeds crowd are jumping up and down in force. Really jumping up and down in force. And they're waiting for their man, their hometown man, Josh Warrington, to put a show on tonight. Well, atmosphere is building here for the main event of the evening. Frank Warren, an associate for BT Sports and Box Nation. Uh, fuck the. The fight is available on BT TV channel 433, BT Sports for UK. And then next week, 7.30 p.m., I'll be looking forward to that. Javante Davis against a guy I've got a lot of time for and rate highly, Liam Walsh. His first shot at the IBF Super Featherweight Championship of the World. Javante Davis, TMT, uh, next week. The TMT arriving next week for their world title. Defense with Javante Davis. Are they underestimating Liam Smith Walsh? I wonder. Billy Joe Saunders is showing here. Has got his next fight coming up. They're promoting that. Saunders has got all the tech all the talent in the world. But um you know, oh what a shot they caught. They're showing the guy Kozitsi. They're showing Kozitsky versus Saunders. This is a dangerous fight for Billy Joe Saunders. Kaczynski, uh Saunders is a very, very, very difficult fight. I'll tell you now, Saunders wins the fight in the first six rounds. That's for the WBO World Middleweight Championship, 8th of July, 7.30 p.m. on BT Sports. On, uh, for UK, H, uh, UK H, uh, UHD Live on BT Sports. So some interesting boxing ahead. It's a dangerous fight for Billy Joe Saunders because I think the first half of the fight, Billy Joe Saunders can win comfortably. It's a second half of the fight against Kazitsi where he needs to be careful of. It's Kazitsi who come out swinging. And Billy likes to stand and trade in the second half of the fight. And Billy has got a good chin, no doubt about that. But um, it's going to be an interesting fight. So the main event of the evening coming up. My old gym mate there, Barry Jones. 
former WBO super featherweight champion of the world with Richie Woodhall, Steve Bunce, and I love uh, Paul Dempsey. I remember Paul Dempsey from the days of ringside. That's what it was about. That's back in the day boxing. So they're just talking about, obviously, the Martinez-Warrington fight. You know, for Warrington, it'd be good to get a stoppage win for uh, Martinez. Good, good for Warrington to stop Martinez. Yes, I've got to say, Kazitsi is a dangerous, dangerous fight for Billy Joe Saunders. More dangerous than the Andy Lee fight. More dangerous than the uh, Chris Eubank Jr. fight because this guy, this guy, will be there for twelve rounds. And if Billy Joe Saunders can't hurt this guy in the second half of the fight. I don't know what Billy Joe Saunders has been doing outside the ring, but um, certainly he'll need to make sure he doesn't put a performance like he put on the last fight he had. Because this, if he puts on that kind of performance, this guy could go on and beat Billy Joe Saunders. So just seeing pictures of uh, Josh Warrington in his gym, wrapping himself up, getting himself ready. I mean, you've got Richie Woodhall on the pads here. He's doing some pad work here with Josh Warrington. He's doing it for the, the, the cameras, but you know. It's gonna be very interesting to see how um, he handles Warrant, uh, Martinez tonight. We'll see how he deals with Martinez's power. That's the first thing. To me, it looked like Warrington looked significantly taller than uh, Martinez in all the, video, the pictures I've seen of him. So we're going to see. I'm looking forward to this fight. So you're seeing just clips of Warrington just warming up. 10.35 in the UK, maybe it's a 10.45 start. I don't know. So questions for me is, how does Warrington handle Martinez's punching power? Um, as for Martinez, we know Warrington's not a puncher, so it'll be interesting to see how, uh, if Martinez doesn't fear the punching power of Warrington, what happens then? Will he start to, will he walk down Warrington? And if so, and he puts Warrington on the back foot, what sort of fight have we got? So it's an interesting fight. But we're still waiting for the guys to make the ring entrance. This is BWTM live. Don't forget to rate, subscribe, and leave your comments, of course. And uh, check out our other channels, BWTM on YouTube and BWTM new, new channel, BWTM Gaming. Get across and subscribe to those channels. Don't forget also our recent interview we did with Bermain's Deverne. Confirming the big fight with um, Deontay Wilder is on. The latest news from the world of heavyweight boxing is that Klitschko is now ranked number two with the WBC. So it will be interesting to see uh, what happens with that. Obviously, if Stavern, the winner of Wilder Stavern, may have to fight Klitschko next. Interesting stuff. So we're still waiting for Warrington to make his entrance to the ring. The Leeds ladies are out dancing away. I think this must be some good music playing. I've got everything on silent. So they're almost ready for the fight. So how does uh, Warren, how does Maratinez deal with Warrington's power? Because we know Warrington's not a puncher. How, uh, you know... Martinez comes into the fight having fought Carl Frampton, having fought Scott Quigg. He's fought around the world, he's an experienced fighter. So he shouldn't come to the ring tonight fearing um, Warrington whatsoever. This is Warrington's biggest fight. Here we go. Here we got the announcement. Now the announcer is ready. Are you ready? Let's hit main event of the evening. BWTM Sports presents Warrington versus Martinez. Okay, making his entrance to the ring or waiting to make the entrance to the ring 
in an army camouflage top hooded is Kiko Martinez. Listen, a hyped up, determined Kiko Martinez is a handful for Josh Warrington, in my opinion. But it's how much has Kiko Martinez got left? Martinez walking slowly to the ring. The eye of the tiger puts his hand at somebody in the crowd in his uh, camouflage army or camouflage hooded to the top. Here he comes. Does the cross. Bows his head a few times. Does a sign of a cross and enters the ring. Kiko Martinez, the biggest test of Josh Warrington's career. And the back of his trunks, or on the back of his trunks, or on the back of his, his top says, Rude Boy. Rude Boys, Kiko Martinez. So there you go. It's uh, Kiko Martinez is probably sponsored by Rude Boys. Well, there you go. If you're not sponsored by him, he's wearing their stuff. This is the toughest fight of josh warrington's career i guess it's a good fight as well for josh warrington yep people say that josh uh, that kiko martinez is past it well josh warrington has to prove he's past it here's josh warrington now he's got the wbc belt on the line so i guess he's the wbc international champion the winner obviously gets a top 10 rating with the WBC. Who's the WBC champion at the moment? Um, isn't it Leo Santa Cruz? Sure, it's Leo Santa Cruz who's the champion. On official leg on the way. Can we hear fight anyone out? Eggington got on Josh Kelly and Adams. I don't know about the rest, but I know J J Dick Lyons got a first win, first stoppage win over Salazar. A barrage of a barrage of punches from Nicola Adams against a girl that was two weight divisions below her. Stopped her. Oh, they are really, really, really milking this with Josh Warrington. Because the main event of the evening, of course, local Leeds lad. He's got Leeds football team behind him, so he's a local star, star attraction. He punches the air several times. He says, come on. And now here comes Josh Warrington with Warrington written in blue and yellow on his white, red, white, and yellow. The colors of Leeds United, of course. And uh, kind of wonder if you're looking at a football match or a boxing match in terms of the way the crowd are. In the ring, here we go. Warrington Martinez is on. It's official. I say that because they're both in the ring, safe and sound. Egerton knocked him out cold. Okay. Main event of the evening. So Egerton's the new European champion, if I'm correct. Okay, let's look at this. The what? Five seven to five five. Nine star Martinez. Eight star thirteen. Egg, uh, Warrington. There's three inches for Warrington there. 26 by knock. He won 26 fights by knockout. Warrington only five fights by knockout. 36 fights for Kiko Martinez to 24. So 26 years old, Warrington is. If I'm saying that's Maurice Cool that I'm seeing there. He's full cruiserweight, he was there. Referee's having a word. He's talking about something. I'm not sure what he's talking about there. He's having a word of something. He, the referee's not happy about something. Don't know what he's not happy about. What is the referee not happy about? It's WBC referee. I was saying something about the wrapping on the glove. And he's not happy about something, the referee, but Martinez's glove. I don't know what it is. Martinez, in the meantime, is just bobbing and weaving. his back against ropes. And now the refer referee is now having something to do with the WBC and the bandage around the glove seems to be a problem. Not quite sure what that's all about at the moment. I don't know if it's all tactics and psychological warfare going on there. 
the referee, the WBC referee is not happy about something. But is he not happy enough to stop the fight? Or is he to delay the fight? Or oh, he's having a word, he's talking to a few people and he's not happy about something. He's not happy, but he's having he's having a word with both corners. It looks Frank Warren looked like he was taking a selfie there. I'm not sure in the ring. Yeah, he needs to win this fight by KO, um, Warrington for sure. He does need to win this fight by KO. I don't know what they're talking about about these bandages. It's not, it's it's strict. He's got WBC right up. They've strapped it right up. The referee wasn't happy about something. I don't know what he wasn't happy about. It looked like because the way they've wrapped the gloves up, they've wrapped the gloves right up, and it's almost, I don't know. Maybe it's too much bandage on, too much tape on. That's what they're suggesting. Kiko Martinez is dangerous. Dodgy gloves, LOL. Oh, but they don't use that as an excuse to take away from Martinez if Martinez is to win tonight. I like my Kiko Martinez. I don't, I, you know, I've seen him fight a few times. I still like him. There's just something no nonsense about Kiko Martinez. Just gets down to business, and you don't know if he can pull off the upset or not. He's one of these guys who can cause the upset. And Josh Warrington hasn't fought in this class before, so he's done a lot so far. But I don't think he's fought in the Kiko Martinez class. Dodgy gloves. Yeah, he is. So, both guys prowling around the ring. Are oh, you waiting for the announcer? Is the announcer announcing something? I think it looks like he is. Okay. Ref judges John Keane, Dolpia, and Van der Wiel. So, a French judge, an English judge. Uh, uh, Victor Lachlan is the referee who scores a stink earlier, and uh, he looks like a Dutch, a German judge. So it's a European thing. I wonder how Brexit's going to affect boxing. In the red corner, with a record of 36 fights, 27 by knockout, 7 defeats, and 1 draw. <laughs> Kiko Martinez. Yes. Bouncing back and forth, keeping himself nice and warm. He would have learned from that. Ho hopefully, he would learn from the Scott Quigg knockout. But he got caught cold by Scott Quigg, but he doesn't have to worry about Warrington tonight. He raises his hand to the crowd. He, to all the four corners, he acknowledges the crowd, Kiko Martinez. Now your Farage is going to start working around the Joshua's corner. <laughs> Funny. Josh Warrington. Here's the record. 24 fights. 24 wins with five KOs to his name. The current WBC international featherweight champion, Josh. Warrington, this is BWTM live, and we're going with Warrington versus Martinez. Big fight, main event. This is it. Big test for um, Josh Warrington stepping up in class tonight. To I don't know if you call it elite level or fringe world class. We just got to see how much. It's all about how much Kiko Martinez has got left. If Kiko Martinez has got something left in the tank and he comes with ambition, it's going to be a difficult night for Josh Warrington. The taller man by two inches and three inches in uh, reach, two inches in height. Here we go. For the WBC International Featherweight Championship, the winner, if Kiko Martinez is the win, he gets it straight into the top 10 of the WBC. You see, the champion is in the WBC top 10. Warrington talking to himself, saying something to himself. I don't know who he's talking to, but he's talking to me. He's saying something. Here we go. Round one. 
And Martinez, like a bustle, comes out, moving forward, throwing shots. Martinez just inching forward. Warrington tucks it, tucking up tight. Martinez left hook. Warrington tucks up tight. It's so interesting how guys, when they move up, it move up in class. How they deal with more experienced fighters, fighters of fought a better level, or different levels, or higher class. So Warrington's up against a former world class. I don't know if he still is world class, Martinez. But he's no bum, that's for sure. So Martinez moving forward. Just moving his head, slipping the jab. Bobbing, waving, catching the shots there, Martinez. Good, nice hard jab there, Martinez. And again, another left jab. So if Warrington can't hurt Martinez, this is going to be interesting. Because how's Warrington going to keep Martinez off? This is what's going to make it interesting to fight. What's he got to deter? What's Warrington got to deter Martinez? So a nice hard jab there. Warrington to the body, a nice shot. Warren to know in the back of his mind that Quick stopped Martinez and Frampton's done it. And Quick stopped him in, I think, inside a round or two rounds. If there is a weakness about Martinez, one thing I know is when he fights, he comes forward with his head. But he, because he pushes his head forward all the time, he's vulnerable to get caught on the top of his head. So he needs to be careful of that as well. Martinez pushing the fight, coming forward. Good right hand over the top for Martinez. Looping right hand over the top. Warrington has bad habits of moving straight back in lines. He moves in straight lines. Nice jazz from Warrington there, though. Oh, nice body shot there for Martinez while, we'll cut the wall, while Warrington was throwing his own shots. So you get away with making mistakes at lower level. But as you move up in class, Warrington. To me, I don't know what his Warrington's quite strategy is, but he looks like he's quite happy to engage with Martinez, which is going to be suit Martinez down to the ground. Oh, Warrington pushes Martinez back with a combination, throwing flurries of punches. There goes Martinez, and there goes Warrington, throwing a dazzling set of combination of punches there. A lot of them Martinez slipped. This is a war in round one. Martinez is bringing the fight, and Warrington standing right in front of Martinez. Is that the right strategy for Warrington? Round one, and they look at one another and touch gloves. Warrington smiles at Martinez. Martinez smiles at Warrington. We've got a fight here in round one, ladies and gentlemen. Good round one. Kyle D has picked Martinez for the KO. 10 to 1. Good evening, Kyle D. I mean, I tell you something. This fight, if 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 Warrington wants to play Macho against Martinez, you know, uh, I'll, I'll I'll pick Martinez over Warrington if he's going to go that route. I mean, Warrington showed good hand speed there in the first round, um, but Martinez matched him punch, punch for punch. So um, I'm not sure what the strategy is. Catman Fred Hop Frank Hopkins and Sean O'Hagan is the trainer of. Warrington, but they've done something right for him to be British Commonwealth European champion and unbeaten on that way. So now a WBC international champion. Hey, long term no seeing them. Loving the commentary. Thank you much. This is round two. Martinez, Warrington, round two. Martinez. For Warrington, he doesn't want Martinez to get confidence in this fight because if he gets confidence and feels. He has a good shot in this fight and he isn't demoralized or he isn't you're hurt. Martinez. Oh, good right hand there from Martinez. Warrington felt that. Warrington felt that right hand. You cannot make mistakes. And when you fight against world class opponents, the mistakes you make, maybe a British Commonwealth the European level, a world class fighter, the looping overhand right is coming over Warrington's jab. That's another big right hand over the top there. And Warrington took that as well for Martinez. Martinez throws a good body shot in there. I told people. Martinez is dangerous. They say, oh, War oh, good right over the top from M M Warrington there. Oh, this is a good fight. This is, I tell you, Frank Warren, this is the second show I've watched of you recently, also recently. 
and uh, value for money for sure. There's Martinez. Martinez has got lots of ambition tonight. Let me tell you that right now. Warrington is in a fight, and if he's not world class, he will get exposed tonight. That's for sure. He's going to need every part of Leeds tonight and every part of his boxing ability. <coughs> <coughs> but he's found, the, he's found the right hand there, and his body shot's in for Martinez. He's found the right hand. Good left hook to the body there from Warrington. But he's two, he's two one dimensional, Warrington. Just moving in straight lines. Good combination there from Warrington. Good left hook and right hand there back from him. But has he got the power to stop Martinez? That's the thing. Martinez is just bowling forward. Just moving forward. Just coming forward. Can he do this for 12 rounds, though, Martinez? That's the question. Nice jabs there from Warrington. But Martinez is the man with the heavier punching at the moment. Martinez still coming forward. Warrington tucking up. Good body shot there. And every time Warrington goes to the body, Martinez answers him. Nice one-two there for Martinez. Good body shot there again for Martinez. Sunk that in nicely. Yep. Martinez catching a lot of the shots. That looping shot over the top is where Martinez would be weak. Because that's where... Martinez leaving himself exposed. I told you that before. I said you see guys early on. Martinez is trudging forward. If Martinez can walk Warrington back to all the ropes, then good right hand again. And another combination. Here comes Warrington putting combination together on Martinez. Martinez takes it. Martinez still trudging forward. Warrington can't really budge him, though. Martinez swarming over Warrington. End of the round. They touch gloves. Was it a sparring session or what? Oh, 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 we boxing says no, this fight is going distance. Mark my words. Adam Scott says, I think Warrington stops in the second half. Kyle says, Doesn't sound like it, fella. And then OE says, We'll see. Kyle Dees commented, Powder puff punching from Warrington. Martinez wearing him down with body shots. Sounds like, yeah, he's landing body shots. But the thing is, the thing I don't like about Martinez is he leaves his temple open. And he's got if the chopping right hand is the key there for, for Warrington. If you can land the chopping right hand as Martinez is coming in, if he hits on the top of the head, top of the skull, there's issues there. Good evening there, Mr. P P O'Neill. This is round three, an enthralling fight so far between Martinez and Warrington. And the referee's pulling Martinez over. Surprise, surprise, surprise. And what's going on here? Top of their head. Um, there's some blood. Let's see what's going on here. What is the referee doing? Victor Lachlan, what's he doing? <coughs> <coughs> He's had a problem from round before round one with Martinez's team. And there's something there. Uh, there's a swelling. There's a big swelling over Martinez's his skull, the front of his skull there. And the re doctor's looking at it. It's really bad swelling there. Real bad swelling. And this lady is just massaging the swelling, the lump. It's like a fluid on the head. And the doctor and Martinez, uh, he says he's okay. He's good to go. He's, uh, Martinez is good to go, but that's a huge swelling. So I did say the overhand right there, the, the chopping of right hand of, of Warrington has bruised Martinez. I did say he does leave his skull open. So it's a good left hook now. Now Martinez knows he could get stopped in this fight now. War, uh, Warrington, good shot from Warrington there. So Martinez is going to have to go for broke. And really put it on Warrington. Test his chin and his heart and see what he's got there. Here goes Martinez now. He knows he's got to put, put, put some punches on Warrington's chin. He's going forward now. But in that now, Warrington may catch him, counter punch him coming in, which he's doing. Smarter boxing for Warrington this round. For a guy who's a powder puff puncher, there's a big bruise over Martinez's skull. Big bruising. Good uppercut there from, Mark, from Warrington there. But if Warrington got dug with a body shot, he's digging body shots in himself, Warrington. Good left hook there to the skull. Then a right hand to the skull from Warrington. Martinez coming forward, though. But he keeps getting cuffed over that skull all the time. If, he, if, he, <coughs> if this fight continues like this, 
<coughs> it will get stopped. <coughs> Martinez. Apologies for the coughing. Warrington looks better this round, but Martinez is sneaking in and body shots. He's getting cuffed over on top of the skull all the time. Morrison's shots are hitting the skull all the time, all over the, where that swelling is. It's a Warrington round for sure. But here comes Martinez trying to put a dent in Warrington. Well, just tucking up. <coughs> they're, they're like sliding shots from Warrington. Warrington again. He's got good hand speed. I'll give him that, Warrington. This is definitely a Warrington round. Good shots for the body from Martinez. Still trying to hunt down Warrington. There's a body shot there. Again, Martinez coming forward. Martinez is using his skull as a defense and he gets rocked by two hard shots from Warrington. And another right hand from Warrington. And another right hand. And a left hook and a right hand from Warrington there. And back comes Martinez. You can't be fighting with your skull, mate. It's boxing. He's just sticking his skull out there and getting hit with it over and over again. Nice combination from Warrington, though. 22 seconds into the end of the round. 19 seconds. Martin is still plowing forward. Good body shot there from Warrington. Martinez trying to put pressure on Warrington. Gets caught with a left at Warrington. Martinez still trying to push forward. Still trying to plow forward. Still trying to find power shots. Lands a nice body shot there. Warrington backs up. End of the round. I don't know why they keep touching gloves at the end of the round. It's a it's a good old fight here for Josh Warrington, but he's showing he's showing some class tonight, putting nice combinations together, and it doesn't help with Kiko Martinez. He's coming forward, but he's literally coming forward with his skull. He, he's he's just pushing his skull forward, and he's allowing um, Warrington to tee off on him. Look at we're going to do replay here. We'll see here. Warrington throws a nice uppercut there. Oh, it was a good body shot, actually, which uh, he got caught with Warrington, and he felt that, and he he, he did say he was distressed for that left to the body from from Martinez. Yeah, Martinez did hurt Warrington to the body. This is round four, and, War and Martinez leaps out of the corner for round four. I've got to give Warrington the, the last two rounds, definitely. This is a Warrington fight so far. Martinez has to keep digging in body shots in. If I, oh, good right over the top there for Martinez. Warrington took that. And there comes Martinez now. Warrington got hit with a good right hand over the top. Looping. As Warrington was pulling straight back from punches. Warrington took it. Left hook, right hand combination with Martinez. And Warrington backing up. He throws a jab. And here comes Warrington with a good combination. Flies back. Nice combination for Warrington. He looked like... <coughs> <coughs> Scott Quick there, the way through that combination there. <clears throat> Martinez coming forward now. He's now blocking the right hand that will go into his skull. He's blocking that and firing his own. He's backing Warrington up in his round a bit more. Martinez with a nice jumping left jab. Nice throw that body shot again to Warrington. Warrington cuffing with that right hand, slicing right hand. It's a slicing right hand that Warrington's throwing. I think Warrington watched the Scott Quick fight more so than the, the, the Frampton fight. But Martinez is landing wicked body shots every so often on, on uh, Warrington. Good one, two. Good one, two again from Warrington. Martinez catching all those on his skull. Nice body shots. Here comes Martinez. Like a little, little, little hurricane coming forward again. Or more like a tornado. A mini tornado. Comes forward, does damage. And again, he gets in and does damage. Warrington, good shots. Good punch again from Warrington. 
Martinez digs another shot to the body. He's digging another. He, Martinez is working that body over in this round. I'm telling you, it's working Warrington's body over. It's, it's those shots that will down the stretch, which will will matter for Martinez. But will Martinez be around in round nine, 10, 11, and twelve? Good combination there again. If he keeps fighting, oh, good double left hook to the body there for Martinez. Oh, good straight right hand there for Martinez. He's landing more in this round. Warrington, great uppercut there for Warrington to reply. This is a good fight tonight. Give and take from both guys. Warrington missing the right hand. Martinez hits him with a left hook and right hand to the body. Martinez setting a really frantic pace there. Can Warrington keep up with his pace? One, two from Warrington. Now a combination for Martinez. He's all over Warrington. End of the round. Warrington smiles at Martinez. They touch gloves. Tell you something. Is Warrington's lack of punch power going to let him down in this fight tonight? If that was a, uh, a, a Frampton hitting Martinez or a... Uh, a quick hit hitting him there. I don't know if Martinez will still be around. So Martinez, although he's got the big swelling over his eye, his, his eye, over his skull, um, he's in a fight. He's in the fight. He's no pushover. He's backing uh, Warrington up. You know, Warrington's throwing nice, fast, hard combinations. See, this fight tonight, Warrington's been forced to throw punches against against his will. What I mean by that is he's throwing punches, not... Oh, good straight right hand from Martinez in round five there. Comes straight out the corner, slams uh, Warrington with a right hand. See, Warrington's having to reply. He's not setting the pace. Martinez is setting the pace, and Warrington's responding with combinations. It's not the other way around. The champion's having to respond to Martinez's forensic pace. Here we go again. There's Martinez again, coming forward, landing body shots. Um, um, Warrington having to fire back. So he's not comfortable, Warrington, with this, that's for sure. And Martinez, oh, he loves this. This is sort of Martinez fight. And Warrington hasn't got the power of a Quig or Frampton. So he's going to have to wear Martinez down. Combinations there from uh, Warrington, but they're all catching the gloves. Here comes Martinez again, digging body shots in. Anywhere can just digging body shots in. Digs another body shot in Martinez. Nice combination there. Good combination, but Martinez doesn't go anywhere. These gut shots are hitting Martinez flush on his skull, and he's just walking forward. One, two for Martinez. Martinez was thinking, damn, I can win a WBC title tonight. I can get an international championship tonight. I can get a world title shot after this. I keep going. Martinez coming forward. He's putting it on Josh Warrington. He really is. Combination there. One, two from Martinez. Martinez digging his little body shots in when Warrington throwing punches. Warrington. Oh, good right. And right down a pipe of Warrington there. I tell you something. Martinez can stop Warrington tonight. He can stop Warrington tonight. He really can. Because he's getting caught with punches straight down the pipe all the time now, Warrington. Martinez following Warrington around the ring, setting a pace. And Martinez won't leave him alone. How does Warrington deal with this for 12 rounds? Can he do it for 12 rounds? I mean, he's gone 12 rounds quite a few times in his career because, well, he's not a puncher. But it's at a lower level. Martinez, good combination there from Warrington. But Martinez is just trying to grind Warrington down. You thought Warrington would try and grind Martinez down. Martinez is in this fight. Believe you me, he's in this fight. It's how a good combination there from Warrington. It's just how much has Martinez got in the tank? Can he do 12 hard rounds still? This is definitely Josh Warrington's toughest fight of his career, for sure. End of the round. Warrington goes back to the corner.
Adam Scott, you're right. I think Martinez won that round. If Warrington is to win this fight, if Warrington needs to fight, win this fight, and he needs to win it big. At the moment, I mean, he's making Martinez look very good. For somebody who's meant to be shot, he's making Martinez look very good. And I said that Warrington ain't fought nobody in the class of Kiko Martinez. And I said if Kiko Martinez comes with any sort of ambition tonight, which he has done, he's coming for he's coming for the title tonight for sure. He is a one dangerous hombre, Kiko Martinez, and I like him. Because you never know if he can cause the upset or not. And I'm glad the referee didn't try and stop the fight or the doctor didn't try and stop the fight. Come on, Kiko. Come on, Kiko. That's what the crowd are cheering if in Spain. And there comes Kiko again. The Spanish fighter pushing forward, Kiko. Throwing combinations. Pushing Warrington back again. Kiko pushing forward. Trying to push, getting Warrington onto the back foot and forcing Warrington to fight. Warrington's been forced to fight. Let me tell you something now. He's been forced to fight. He's been forced to fight, Warrington. Again, Warrington is on the back foot, fighting off Kiko Martinez. Double right hand there from Warrington. Martinez plants another shot to the body. Martinez digs another one to the body. I tell you, if Warrington struggles to make the weight as well, that's another thing. If he struggles to make the weight, Warrington, this is a good test. Okay, he looks pretty big for a featherweight. And you always wonder if a guy who's bigger, big at featherweight, whether he struggles at the weight or weight making. Body shots. I tell you, Martinez is bossing this round. Warrington's catching a lot of the shots, but he's bossing the round. Nice body shot again for Martinez. Martinez is walking forward. Warrington back into the ropes. Right hand, short right hand there for Martinez. Good right hand there. They both connect. Martinez with a jab there. Warrington tries to throw a right hand. It misses. And Martinez digs another body shot in. I think Warrington's feeling Martinez's power. Combination's getting caught. A lot of the shots are getting caught now by Martinez. He's ducking and weaving and bobbing. He's moved, getting himself into a gear now. Want to stop to throw a combination, dig a combination in. And then he stands right in front of Martinez. Oh, good right hand there from Martinez. Warrington took that flush on the chin. See, when you stand and trade with Martinez, Warrington, that's where the danger zone is. He needs to get out of that danger zone. Another body shot there from Martinez. And another one he digs inside. Martinez is out working Warrington in this round. For my money, he's out wor working Warrington. And Warrington's pace has slowed. And Martinez, I don't know if Warrington's taking a, a, a break off, off of this round. But Martinez is catching Warrington with big shots. Big right hand there from Warrington. And a combination from Warrington there. I thought he stunned Martinez. Martinez says, come on. Martinez says, come on. Now Warren Martinez takes a backward set and then comes forward. Is his lack of punching power at world level going to let him down tonight, Warrington? Because Warrington hit Martinez with a great shot there. But Martinez took it and kept walking forward. What a round. Woo! Vamos! Vamos! Says Kyle D. What a round this is. This could may end up getting fight of the year here. Kiko says, come on, let's have it. Warrington throwing a good combination there, but Martinez walked straight through it. Is Warrington's lack of punch power? Warrington, according to BT Sports and Richie Woodhall, Warrington lost that round. No, he won that round. Garbage. Warrington lost the round. Martinez landed the more punches. I can't agree with you, Richie Woodhall. You've got some dodgy scorecards as it is. And of course, I mean, you were, you know, hitting pads. The guy was hitting pads with you. He's hardly the right guy to be getting a scorecard with. So uh, it's better than the uh, firefight.
Well, I expected it to be. That's why I didn't comment on the FI fight. Here we are. Round seven. Very good fight here. I expect it to be a good fight, and it's lived up to it. Round seven. Josh Warrington trying to convince the world that he is, he belongs in the top five in the world. But here comes Kiko Martinez trying to stop the Warrington train. Tell you something, BT have put on the two shows I've seen in BT. Their undercards have been better, and arguably their main events have been better. Yeah, Joshua Klitschko, but that's just an exception to the rule. But Warren's BT shows have been much better for me. Warrington backing up. Martinez, Warrington throwing fast combinations this round. Martinez sticking behind the jab and then went in close, digging the body shot in. But see, after this fight, win, lose, or draw, Josh Warrington, I would have Kiko Martinez as a sparring partner for the future. Definitely. He can only improve you as a fighter. Martinez plunging forward. Warrington moving a little bit. Not much has happened this round so far. Jab for Warrington. Another jab. He's using the jab a bit more in this round, Warrington. Trying to be smart. Use the jab. But Martinez, he's not having any of that. He's slipping under. And trying to land his own right hands and left hooks. Warrington plant his feet for more power. Throws a sort of uppercut that misses. Martinez steps back. Good left jab for Martinez. Martinez throwing body shots again. Martinez walking forward. Warrington in the back foot. Combination for Warrington. All straight shots. Tries a cuffing shot there, Warrington. Martinez work rate has slowed this round. This is round seven. Is Warren is as Martinez now slowing down? Good right hand there from Martinez. Warrington responds. Combination, four, four punch combination there for Warrington. But Martinez catches that and answers back with body shots. He's sticking that body work in there, Martinez. Warrington throws three right hands straight. Martinez takes a nice body shot in there to Warrington. Uh, this round I would give to Warrington. Martinez body shot. Combination again from Warrington. In the round. I would give that round to Warrington. That was definitely a Warrington round. Uh, Martinez looked he slowed a tad bit in that round. I don't know if Martinez was taking a break in that round or he was tiring. I'll tell you what, the last three rounds of this fight, nine, yeah, through round nine to 12 in this fight, it's going to be very interesting. Very interesting. Because we'll see all the body work that Martinez has put in to Warrington and see if that has any effect. And of course, Martinez himself has been known to fade going down the stretch. So it's going to be very, very, very interesting. The last four rounds of this fight, very interesting. Martinez, fresh, jumps off the stool and he's out. Round eight. Martinez coming forward. So he knows he would have lost that last round. What's Martinez going to do this round? He definitely lost that last round. Right hand for Warrington. So Martinez right hand. Warrington catches it. Then Martinez throws a double left hook inside there. But this fight is slowed. Definitely. One, two from Warrington. And then a double jab. And then a combination from Warrington. But he gets clicked with a left hook on the inside by Martinez. Now Warrington backs up. It's on the ropes. And Martinez punches him with body shots. Nice left jab there. Knocked the head back off uh, Warrington. Good right hand there for Martinez. Clean right hand there. 
One to shine a good chin tonight, that's for sure. Martinez walking forward again. One to throw in a flurry of punches. Martinez still walking forward. Nice combination. Good right hand to the body there for Martinez. Oh, that's a low blow. Come on, ref. Or was that headbutt? Martinez says, he headbutted me. He headbutted me. They touch gloves. And Martinez bangs his gloves together and says, come on. It's a real hard nut, Martinez. A real bad man. Martinez pushing forward now. Go straight right hand to the body. Martinez trying to corner Warrington, Warrington Avenue. Oh, good body shot there for Martinez. And another body shot. Martinez is ducking under Warrington's cuffing shots now. Slipping under it and digging body shots in return. So when Warrington jabs, Martinez is slipping little cheeky little body shots in on the inside. Martinez does the better inside work. Marti uh, Warrington throwing the better shots from mid to long range. Oh, kick with an uppercut there, Warrington, while trying to go to the body. Good left hook there for Martinez. Martinez double jab on Warrington. Wow. Another jab from, War from Martinez. And a right hand over the top. End of the round there. I don't know. I'm going to give that round to Martinez. Am I scoring it? Well, that's a lot to do. But um, I don't know. I'll give that round to Martinez. I don't quite know how I'm scoring this fight at the moment in terms of, I mean, I, I should have a pen and paper score at the same time. It's showing a replay now. Warrington, yeah, it was a low blow. Let's look at it again. Yeah, that was below the belt. That was like under where it says Kiko. That was a low blow. I don't know why Kiko said he got headbutted. Well, a veteran tactic it must have been. Because it wasn't a headbutt. It was bloody a punch on, the, on his nuts. That's what it basically was. Okay. Now they're scoring it 77-35. Well, at least this last round, Woodhall scored it for Martinez. Okay, Martinez comes flying out of traps again for round nine. These from round nine onwards is going to tell us who wins this fight. And what I mean by that is stamina-wise. If Warren's struggling at the weight, then I expect to see him fade. And as for, well, and Kiko Martinez is another one who likes to fade during the fight. so. Well, Warrens has been very, has got it in a few times. Um, but he's, I don't think he's had to fight at this kind of pace before. Right hand over the top for Martinez. Martinez is still there and still trudging forward. Left hook to body, left hook to head. Martinez pushing forward now. Oh, good combination there from both men. Warrington had to back off of the exchanges there. Mar what, uh, tell you what, Martinez is doing some very good work on the inside. Oh, he hit Warrington with two good shots there. I don't think, I'm not sure if Warrington was hurt. Two good shots there. Warrington is not doing good on the inside. Warrington's inside work is not good. Mid to long range is where Warrington is good. It's apparent that on the inside, Martinez is stronger. Martinez beats Warrington to the punch. And he's got a better variety of punches on the inside. So Warrington has got to keep this fight. Sure, big right hand over the top for Martinez on my Warrington's chin. This is a big round for Martinez now. Is Warrington tiring? I said from round nine onwards, we're going to see where this fight is going. And I'll tell you something. Warrington's missing with big shots. And Martinez is capitalising on the inside. He's got caught with a couple of crackers this round, Warrington. This is definitely a big round for Martinez. I've given this big for Martinez this round. Big right hand again for Martinez. He's getting caught with bigger shots now, Warrington, because he's slowing down and he's tiring. That's what happens. But Martinez is cut. 
is opening up further. Martinez trucking forward. I hope the referee doesn't stop this fight. Right hand over the top. He's catching uh, Warrington. Every time he throws the left jab and drops short with it, Martinez is slinging the right hand over the top. And he's caught catching Warrington flush. He's beaten Warrington on the inside. He's beaten Warrington on the outside when he throws the jab. When Warrington gets lazy, Martinez is there to punish him. This is a good round for Martinez. A very good round for Martinez. Good combination there now from Warrington fighting back. Coming at the end of the round. Warrington cuffs with a left hook. Good left hook to the body again for Martinez. And the jab. Right hand there from Warrington. Martinez still coming forward. Definitely, I'd give that a Martinez round. Definite Martinez round for me. If Martinez can fight at for the last four rounds, we'll give Martinez the fight. See, Warrington, when he tries to get up close and fight with Martinez, he loses that battle. He cannot fight on the inside as good as Martinez. He's get hit with short uppercuts on the inside. He gets hit with body shots. And then he pulls back from straight punches. Pulls back straight, pulls straight back from punches where he's getting caught with looping over right hands over the top. Very difficult fight for just Warrington tonight. They show Nicola Adams and her girlfriend. Yeah, five one on points. Yeah, no surprise there. I'm glad I chose this, chose this fight tonight to watch. Knew it'd be a cracker. People writing off Kiko Martinez way too early. I knew Martinez would give a warrant to problems, and he's given him all he could ask for tonight. I hope Martinez can win the next three rounds. Then we've got a real fight. Martinez pushing forward now. Round 10. Combination for uh, Warrington. He comes out for three, four punches to try and get rid of Martinez. I think he's annoyed by Martinez. He's smiling and, and touching gloves with Martinez, but I think he's annoyed because he can't get rid of a guy who's shot to bits. Uppercut there for Martinez. So we know now that even a shot to bits Martinez, Warrington can't put away. Warrington really trying to stamp his authority in this round while Martinez is pushing him back. Jab for Martinez. Left hook to the body for Martinez. Martinez has invested better to the body than Josh Warrington has. Or oh, slings a right hand on top. Warrington moves out of the way and then puts a one-two together. You would have thought Warrington was like 35 years old the way he's boxing at the moment. Mortiz just following Warrington around the ring. Right hand over top. Chest grazes the top of Warrington's head. Gosh, I tee them one of them right hands. Martinez, big right hand over the top. Warrington has to be careful he doesn't get tagged by one of those. Oh, no, there he gets a big right hand then again. There's a right hand. Warrington backs up. I said it. There's that right hand over the top. Warrington's got to watch out for that now because he's tiring. He's going down the stretch. Round 10. He has to be careful of the right hand of, of Martinez. Martinez winning the fight for me. Warrington is in a fight of his life. You want to fight Lee Selby? Come on, mate. Back it up there, Warrington. Warrington needs to find a knockout from somewhere, I'm telling you. Because if he keeps fighting like this, Martinez is going to beat him. Martinez is hunting him down, landing good body shots. Last 30 seconds. Are we going to get a big finish now from Warrington to steal the round? The experienced fighter would uh, put his foot down and try and win the last 30 seconds. Here comes Martinez. Warrington holding on. Martinez on the inside. Again, keep your punches up, Mr. Warrington. It's a good fight, though. End of the round.
I'm wondering, I'm looking at Warrington, and there's something he keeps doing. I don't know if he's busted a rib or something. Or maybe that's the way he boxes. He seems to be holding the side of his rib in a, in a, in a way. Richie Woodhull's scorecard is rubbish. Well, you said it, not me. Uh, what I don't get is why TV judges score 10, 10 rounds. The actual judge very rarely gives a shared round unless there's a point deduction. Come on, Martinez, says Tony G. Thank you for tuning in tonight. This is BWTM live. Warrington versus Martinez. We picked the right channel to be watching tonight. BT Sports and Box Nation, not Sky Sports and Matchroom. This is where a proper fight is on tonight. Eight to one. Please, Martinez, pull it off. People are backing Martinez tonight. Uh, Martinez won that last round as well. And he ran the one previously. But uh, that would be 96-96 on my scorecard. Be a draw. Martinez comes out for round 11. Martinez has got to stop Warrington for me because they're not going to give it to him. He's got to stop Warrington. Round the 11. It's a close fight. But Martinez, for me, is winning it for me. Double jab from Martinez. Warrington's been on the back foot for most of this fight. Okay, again, body shot inside again from Martinez. Landing the better shots. For mid-range, Warrington's decent. Combination from Warrington. But when he's up close, he hasn't got a clue. He ain't got a foggy idea what to do. He can't fight on the inside. His inside game is shocking. For a British Commonwealth and European champion and a WBC international top 10 fighter, he cannot fight on the inside. He's shocking. His inside work is poor. That's where Martinez has got better of him over and over and over again. And I've got a wise count. Don't tell him. Listen, keep away from fighting on the inside against Martinez. Keep the fight mid to long range. You've got the longer reach. Use it. But oh no, he wants to fight Martinez blow for blow. Okay, we'll fight Martinez blow for blow. Martinez closes the radar. Martinez is 31 years old. Martinez is following Martinez. Uh, <coughs> Good Ryan again from Martinez. <coughs> <coughs> Combination, Martinez getting the better on the inside again. Right hand there. They both go and try and exchange. Both throw right hands. This is round 11. Both men doing good here. Right hand again. They both land the right hand at the same time. Body shot there for Martinez. Again, Martinez on the inside. He's, again, Warrington stands to throw a right hand and caught, gets caught on the inside. Why does Warrington insist in training being on the inside? They're not going to give this fight to Martinez. No, they're not. <coughs> <coughs> Martinez, body shot. Good combination there from Warrington using the jab and the right hand. Uh, Warrington's going to win this round if Martinez doesn't do something. That's good combination there from Ma Martinez there. <coughs> I'm going to leave that to Warrington though. 31, yeah. <coughs> round 11, one round to go. See, Martinez has to not warrant out for the last round, I think. <coughs> <coughs> There's no way, no way they're going to give Martinez this victory. No way. Too much on the line for Warrington and Warren. I don't see. But don't ever count up Kiko Martinez. Richard Woodhull has warranted two points up. <coughs> I'll see somehow. <coughs> Twelfth and final. <coughs> I got the bad cough. <coughs> Twelfth and final round. <coughs> Bloody flu. 
Martinez versus Warrington, 12th round. And Martinez comes flying out. Combination there. Guys, these guys are going to go toe to toe with one another. Not a good idea for Warrington. I tell him to box the last round. Don't give Martinez any chance. Martinez wants to engage. Warrington's tucking up. Combination again. Warrington trying to trade on the inside and coming off second best. Warrington should keep the fight mid to long range. Right hand over the top for Martinez. Martinez looks as fresh as he did in round one, walking forward. And right hand over the top for Martinez. Warrington backing up. Martinez pushing forward. Right hand over the top. Big right hand over the top for Martinez. And then a left hook. And then Martinez pushing forward now, trying to go for the KO. And then a left hook on Warrington. And a right hand again for Martinez. This is a dodgy round for, Mar for Warrington. He's got to be careful. Martinez coming forward now. He's going for green, not gold, green. The green and gold he's going for. Warrington caught with some good combination punch in there for Martinez. Martinez on him now. I'd like to see Martinez follow up when he hits him with a good shot. What a shot there for Martinez. Warrington just soaking it all up. All Warrington has to do pray, is to stay on his feet and he'll win this fight. Right hand again. Martinez. Coming forward. Oh, no, a big right hand again on, on, on Warrington's chin. Warrington showing he's got a jaw tonight, that's for sure. But if he's going to go up into world class and fight the likes of Frampton or quick right hand there again from Martinez. 28 seconds to go. This is a Martinez right, another right hand on the top. Another left hook for Martinez. Warrington backing up now. And a right hand. And there's Martinez coming forward now. Warrington backing up, tries to throw a combination. Warrington, just got to hold on. Here comes Martinez. It's a round. It's Martinez round for me. Wow, 12 rounds. That was a very good fight. I don't know if Josh Warrington, well, he's in the UK. You know, he's, he, he's the guy that Warren's pushing for a world title shot. For me, i see you something now. There'll be some home cooking tonight for me, for sure. There's that, but Warrington was, for me, Warrington was exposed tonight because this is Kiko Martinez at 31 years old. Not the Kiko Martinez that fought Frampton. Not even the Kiko Martinez that fought Scott Quigg. This is a 31-year-old Kiko Martinez. For me, I thought Kiko Martinez won the fight, but BT Sports once again delivers another great card here the BT Sports and Frank Warren's Boxer Nation. Yeah, if this fight's in Spain, Martinez wins the fight. But I think Martinez won the fight anyway. Take care, Kyle. Peace out, my friend. That was a tough fight. 31. Isn't that old Ingram? LOL. I know. But there were some people saying he was shot to bits and he, you know, he's finished and washed up. I said, Kiko Martinez, there's no way he's washed up. No, no, no. No, 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 no. And uh, people are too quick to wrap people off in boxing. Martinez is a dangerous one, son of a gun. Dangerous. And he showed again tonight why he's dangerous. And I tell you something now. Imagine him, uh, Warrington, getting hit with, com with a combination like that by Frampton. Or getting hit by Gary Russell Jr. like that. Or getting hit by Leo Santa Cruz. Or getting hit by Scott Quigg. I'm sorry. Tonight he got away with a lot of stuff that against bigger punches, you'd have problems. 
against better fighters, you'd have problems. He got caught with the right hand too many times, pulling straight back from punches. He's easily timed as well, the right hand. Moves in the same direction most of the times as well. Josh Warrington. They're going to give the decision to Josh Warrington, I bet you. Let's hear this. Martina should have won the fight. Here we go. Here we go. School cards. Keane scores it 114 what did draw. Sixteen hundred twelve. I'm sorry, one hundred sixteen hundred twelve. No, 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 no. One hundred sixteen hundred twelve. No, 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 no. Listen, there's no way one hundred sixteen hundred twelve. Josh Warrington did not win that fight. One hundred sixteen hundred twelve. One hundred fourteen. One hundred fourteen is draw. Yeah. 116, no, sorry, no, 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 116, See, it's that crap, it's stuff like that, when people sit down and say, you know what, we know what's going to happen, we're going to get some home cooking going, and we saw some home cooking. Shout out to Karen Priestley, that I'm seeing her on the side there, Karen Priestley taking photographs of Josh Warrington there, uh, but home cooking. Absolute crap, absolute crap, because we knew Warren could not afford to have Josh Warrington lose tonight against Kiko Martinez. Kiko Martinez, for as, far, as far as I'm concerned, won the fight. Listen, if Kiko Martinez had won the fight, I'd have no problems with it. You know what, Martinez won the fight, the better fighter won on the night. Do you know what I mean? There's no, there's no shame in that. But when we go in boxing, we, we give bring guys over and they fight their hearts out and then we give them dodgy decisions. Just not on. Whether it be a Frank Warren show, <coughs> <coughs> Or a matchroom show. This is the crap that boxing has, has to deal with. <coughs> <coughs> My closing statement is this. <coughs> is that I think... I need to take some lockets. My, my closing close thoughts are this. Is that if this continues in boxing, you can see why more and more people watch UFC. The best are fighting the best. <coughs> <coughs> Win, lose or draw. And... That's why people go back and watch UFC. Don't matter if they win or they lose. And even if they lose, they're not writing people off and saying it's the end of their career. They're saying the guy's going to come back or the girl's going to come back and try again. Kiko Martinez, I feel gutted for. He didn't deserve that. He didn't deserve that all. But it's a terrible decision. And that's just the way of boxing today. A good fight ruined by poor judging. So... <coughs> 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 Apologies for the coughing during the uh, show, but that's it. BWTM, <coughs> <coughs> Washington, Warrington versus Kiko Martinez. Thanks for watching. We're out of here, and I've got to get rid of this cold. Take care.